Hey guys, and welcome to another channel teaching in regards to sacred unions, soul connections, and separation. And I am Rena Wells. I'm a medicine woman, and I have all the clairs and everything else. So if you want to know more about me, take a look down below. And uh, if you want to work with me, all that info is posted uh, at the bottom of this video. So today we're going to talk about, I'm channeling some teachings about divine masculine energy. If you want to hear about ancient feminine energy that was last week's teaching, it will coincide with this one because Spirit is bringing through that I will be talking about feminine and how they interplay with the masculine. Spirit wanted me to bring this through because feminines are the powerhouses, right? They, not that masculines don't have their power. And please excuse me if I'm still coughing, it's getting better. But um, I'm still recovering from COVID, uh, and so the cough is a slow dwindle, just so you know. Um, <clears throat> and I'm also drinking my coffee. So Spirit is saying that we, we are bringing through the feminine energy because they're a powerhouse in a very different way than how the masculine energy is a powerhouse. And they're showing me the card in one of my oracle decks that says, by the book. And that is, you know, there is a perfect alignment, a, dirt, a perfect uh, piecing together of the universe, right? We can't go beyond universal laws and how great spirit has created this. And spirit is also saying that we, uh, we're going to bring up, you know, new, new age dogma things in regards to manifestation and how, you know, manifestation of abundance that we have been completely lied to about many things. And this is why COVID is here as well. There's a, this contrast of darkness is awakening on our planet coming more at the forefront. So those that are unconscious can actually realize that they've been lied to this whole time. And uh, what's happening, Spirit is saying, is that... Thank you. This whole putting together and piecing things together, uh, a lot of structures are going to fall, and that's including the New Age community. It was needed at a point in our evolution process so that people can start opening up to a different form of spirituality. It also opened up, you know, other forms of um, uh, teachings like Hindu teachings, Tao teachings, all kinds of different teachings. Uh, but that structure is going to fall as well. So we're, we're seeing a huge shift on the planet right now in all areas. And Spirit wants to bring this up because the new world is about twin flames, okay? The new world is about grounding the creator's energy. And, and so Spirit's bringing me back into this and talking about new age dogmen and manifesting and we've been lied to in regards to that it's it's simple as visualizing and thinking and uh, feeling and waiting there's a lot more to that uh, and if you haven't healed in your energy body uh, and you don't become that energy in a very deep way, you won't attract what is truly meant for you. Now, New Age Dogma also say, says in regards to law of attraction is that all you have to do is become that energy. And we can fake that till we make it. We can then create spiritual identities on top of that to become that. Um, the true way to manifest is to heal your lineage, get through the depths of your healing so that you become the pure expression of creator force energy. There... I don't believe that there is like a God in sense that there's a man or an entity judging us, but there is a higher consciousness uh, that we that we all come from, and that is the all that the all that is, right? The I am that I am, the all that we are, and um, that is the union of mother and father energies. That is the earth of the womb and the creator of the stars. So spirit is saying we <clears throat> yes we have uh, we are gods walking around on this planet but we have uh encapsulated that into an ego identity that we can absolutely create whatever we desire that is also a form of selfishness and that is does not serve humanity and that's new age dogma that's going to fall because where we're going in the new world is about community it's not about um just being a leader or you know being a guru and having a following this is about building new sustainable living this is about forming community this is about coming together as a collective as a one consciousness so that the higher consciousness can form uh, and eradicate lower energies so that we can be the one consciousness working together with the womb of our mother as the children of of spirit 
And in order to get there, we can't partake any longer in New Age dogmas. Yes, it was great. Uh, Spirit is bringing up a lot of practices in Wiccan and, and paganism in the Western world is not true paganism and Wicca, right? Candle magic is, you know, very Westernized magic. Uh, a lot of this binding aspect in Wiccan is uh, actually is only Western Wiccan. Uh, it's not uh, because binding and doing these types of manifestations, you can't bind energy. Energy is free flowing. I'm just going to use this as an example. Obeas was one of one of a very ancient teaching in Indo-Caribbean spirituality, which is where I'm from, is also about you know the balance of the universe. You can't constrict energy it's going to flow wherever it goes that's how we work and if you start binding things and doing that type of energy work you are creating karma right so this is why i don't follow a lot of people who say that they can do this type of magic because there is dark magic and binding is a form of black magic and uh, white magic is about surrendering working with the earth working with the plants working with the animals right working with our natural resources and then being in the womb of the, of the mother to be able to receive and bring in the masculine energy and this is where spirit is now bringing up what masculine energy is about and why we don't truly know manifestation law of attraction until we know the womb of the mother until we are owning that feminine aspects within ourselves no matter what your gender is so that is the ability to receive the ability to nurture and the ability to also have your Kali spirit in regards to setting healthy boundaries to keep your homeostasis in place okay and that's why i'm saying listen to the last week's teachings because last week's teachings talks about that that you know if we're going to erupt a volcano to you know really pressure in our homeostasis in our temple and our body those are things that we we need to do right so the spirit is saying that there is a by the book they keep bringing this up with with my wisdom oracles if you guys have seen that um maybe i will um <coughs> excuse me maybe i will take a picture and put that up um <coughs> sorry my um coughing every now and then when i'm i don't talk as much so when i do these recordings it triggers the cough so I will put a picture of the by the book but it's like these elephants holding each other's tails and um, walking you know in a linear fashion that we can't cut make shortcuts in this world if we make shortcuts on our path you will create karma right and uh, karma is just law of attraction right karma uh, there's no karma debt karmic debt to pay but what happens is uh, karma is law is the new law of attraction is a fancy word for karma right because it's whatever you put out will come back to it doesn't always necessarily happen in this life karmic cycles can span over thousands of years and uh if you put something out two thousand years ago when you were incarnated it could definitely be playing out in this life so that's law of attraction right there is um no time frame for it because when we die that's just another transition there's no there's no true ending right so spirits bringing me back into in regards to being in the womb of the mother that the feminine energy and owning that temple of the feminine being able to let go nurture kali spirit boundaries homeostasis being able to be in that aspect, <clears throat> being open, not being a doormat, right? Being open. That gives the opportunity for the masculine energy to come in, feel safe, okay, and to plant their seed, right, in the womb of the mo of the mother. And so that's why when you've met your twin, there was that was the planting of the seed that happened. And it's been growing this whole time while you've been in separation in order for you to harvest and this is a purification process right separation and it depends where you are in the separation process i understand all the different stages that first it's painful it's hurtful it takes you deep into your pain it then helps you heal you then purge but then there comes a point 
of the worthiness aspect of how worthy you really are. And this is where you're going to notice certain patterns within yourself that you thought you may have healed that you may have to revisit and be like, oh, damn, like this pattern is still there. I need to go deeper, self forgive, and open even deeper in this place to be able to receive and both masculine and feminine need to balance that out within themselves, no matter what your gender is, that's the aspect of feminine energy. And because feminine energy are those powerhouses, they're the ones that nurture and grow. And that's why separation is so important and why feminines lead the way is because they are cultivating that process in how to till their soil and how to become abundant to be able to receive all the seeds from the masculine to nurture and to grow, right? So masculine energy is all about the 3D, but they're also, they're, it's not that they can't connect to 5D either, right? But it's a slower process for masculines to get to that point because they are so 3D based. Now, spirit wants me to go into where masculines have been completely distorted into a distorted feminine energy. And they want me to talk a little bit about my journey as well, what I've noticed with my own twin and my masculine, and what I've noticed with other masculines that I've worked with over the last couple of years um, is that masculines, because we as a society and the darker forces on this planet have told masculine energy, you are not allowed to feel. And not being allowed to feel your feminine on the inside pushes them in a distorted feminine energy that they now have to operate in a distorted masculine sense because they're suppressing. So the suppressant of the feminine energy is not only um, not feeling the feminine, it actually forces them into a distorted feminine place. Now, distorted feminine energy is clingy, codependent, and people pleasing and a relying on somebody else to give you what you need, right? And suffering in relationship. And this is why the karmic energy is there because their karmic energy are most definitely in a distorted feminine, right? So that mirror needs to come out in your connection for them to realize, oh my God, <laughs> I've been in a distorted feminine. I'm not actually accepting my feelings. I'm not actually feeling my feminine energy on the inside to be open, receptive, intuitive, knowing, trusting the intuition and moving with that, right? And this is why they're with a the karmic energy because all karmics are very distorted feminine energy. Now I'm going to say like, that does not mean that they're bad people, right? It just means that they are resistant to change because they are unable to have the awakening or heighten to the point of a divine feminine in this lifetime. These, these, uh, distorted, uh, karmic energies. Thank you, spirit. Spirit thing is a very small amount that will hit, clo hit close to a divine feminine energy, empress energy. A lot of them have heavy karma. Thank you. That's why this has come up in the last teaching. Thank you, Spirit. They have so much karma to heal that they're not even anywhere close to that. Um, thank you, Spirit. It's even saying even their offspring uh, will have to heal if they have offspring, <clears throat> children. Those, chil th those children aren't leaders either, okay? They are going to have to heal part of those layers because we heal our ancestry line right so those children it's lifetimes they have given their lineage lifetimes of healing in that lineage uh and everybody thank you spirit is bringing up you know there's a turning of the kaleidoscope that happened so everybody as the kaleidoscope turns you know as the wheel turns they're showing me the wheel of fortune when that turns everybody gets their chance so these karmic energies in some other lifetime will eventually get their chance to be a divine feminine because you know every, again spirit is saying it's by the book and if you're listening to this this is you know your time divine feminines and divine masculines of coming into your empress and emperor essence okay so divine masculine energies have been in this distorted feminine energies uh wanting to attract you know partners to them they don't usually chase or they don't usually go after what they want because they have come into a distorted feminine energy that whatever they want is manifested and it correlates with the distorted masculine energy so spirit's bringing this up now <clears throat> So spirit is bringing up that when the masculine suppress the feelings, right? It's not just blocking. It's not a block. It's just a suppression. 
they start to operate in a distorted feminine energy where they become clingy, controlling, codependent. Those are the main energies. Those energies then tie into their distorted masculine, which is the predominant predominant energy. That predominant energy, because masculines, thank you, spirit. Masculines are different than feminines, right? Thank you, spirit. Feminines gain their energy from source, from the higher realms, and they ground it into the earth. So they become this channel and this pillar of light, right? They become the well. They become the goddess temple. When a masculine <clears throat> is in a full alignment with himself, he comes to the well to, to drink of that water and feels that energy and then is able to take that energy and create physical god foundational manifestations on the planet it won't be distorted it will be as the foundation as spirit sees fit right because the feminine is pure and holding that well of water and that masculine then comes in through union and uh, is able to hold that um, vibration because he has healed as well and then he's able to take that and build uh, structures for spirit and that's bringing god's kingdom to the planet right and <clears throat> because the 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 father energy wants to be present and um for humans and it's not the father isn't present here on the planet that's why we have beautiful nature because the seeds plant and, and we see creation so we're seeing manifestation of the father energy for sure um but it's it, thank you spirit is saying it's um to be expressed through human form that's the next stage right and so spirit is saying when a masculine is in a distorted feminine uh, form feminine energy they're not recognizing that purity of the well of their divine feminine because they have suppressed their emotions on the inside and when that happens their predominant masculine energy has nowhere to feed off of right so they have to gain a certain level of control in their masculine energy and the feeding energy that is pushing their intention and their actions of manifestation in their distorted masculine and feminine energies right where this is their dark night of the soul this is what we call the dark night of the soul that intention of that energy of the distorted feminine with them within them <clears throat> are pushing the masculines into being with codependency addictions suffering all of that and they continue to manifest those relationships and they continue to manifest this loop process with the karmic partner okay or in their karmic energies whatever is playing out addictions uh, work whatever that is for your person and that continues the loop until they become so tired of that that they have to realize like oh wait a minute <laughs> that's because the intention because it's the feminine energy that holds the foundation for everything right if you look at earth she holds the foundation for everything to grow out of for manifestation to happen so you know it's the same thing with masculine energy they have to come to a realization that they have been pulling from the wrong well they have been suppressing and working with karmic energies and and having the intention of suffering codependency attachment fear of loss fear of um, a lack mentality uh fearing that this is all they're going to have worrying about what other people think people pleasing all of those distorted energies of that because that's distorted feminine that's what the karmic is showing them and so that distorted energy what happens is that they then create um, and spirit is saying they won't be able to create anything big from that energy uh <clears throat> it will hit the plateau of their egoic manifestations that they've put into their contract to come into this lifetime into their blueprint right because we have you may want to go back <coughs> excuse me you may want to go back and listen to destiny versus fate because we have our blueprint with our destiny that we have uh to hit the certain point in the matrix what we've manifested so whatever you've been able to manifest in the matrix at this point you know for me i had hit a plateau i had my house i had my, my cars my travel like everything as a single mom like i did all of that i hit a plateau in my manifestation capabilities because that's the point when god called me to be in mission you know that's when i took my ret early retirement i left i traveled with my children created my online business so spirit is saying that these masculines have hit the plateau of their of their manifestations in the matrix based on 
their destiny, what they put in their blueprint, and that includes the karmic person that they're with. And that's why they continue looping, right? This is why it's stagnant, because that intention of the energy within them is distorted feminine energy. Now, that's why, <coughs> thank you, Spirit, as the feminine energy, why you've had your activation with your twin, that merge has already happened. So those seeds were planted in this in the seed of the feminine. The feminine has been growing it, growing it, growing it. It's been a difficult journey to purify, to keep that seed, you know, clean, to let go of anger, to heal. And when it's ready to finally blossom, the masculine will feel it, will feel the new mission, will feel that something has changed and will realize the contrast between two worlds, will realize the distorted, real distorted energies of the karmic energy, because the karmic energy tries to pretend they're a divine feminine. They probably, you know, listen, uh, stalk you, try to become you, try to go back and relay information to the masculine and say, hey, this is what we should be doing when it's really the feminine uh, that they're trying to copy. So they try to manipulate all kinds of ways, guys. So all of this starts to come out to play when the feminine is ready to bloom into into true mission work and what happens is and and, and that's the thing true mission work is based on god's plan right so for instance spirit wants me to bring this up you know mine is about twin flames mine is about helping you but there's another aspect to my journey in creating sustainable living in creating community of bringing people into the rainforest so because that's where my lineage is from so I'm a med natural medicine woman. So spirit is saying, um, this is a whole other part of my journey um, that I'll be creating other platform, but it's not quite ready because I know there's divine timing and mission work and whatever God needs that to be. So there's something blossoming outside of my current platform. And spirit wants you to realize that too, that your mission will morph and change. So we can't become attached either. And that's why this twin flame journey is so important. And this is why we go through such heavy purification because we can't attach. We can't attach to our twin. We can't attach to how the mission is playing out, what we think the mission is going to look like. We have to learn to flow and that's divine feminine energy. We are the water. We learn how to just allow turbulent waves to go through us as much as the calm waters and the reflection to happen so we when we start getting really good at that divine feminines and if you need help with that hit me up we can do some sessions um that's all based in mastering uh, a multitude of emotions at the same time uh knowing yourself knowing your temple knowing your sexuality knowing you know know from an ego place but from a spiritual place and from energy from feeling from empathy from in deep inner knowing from cognizance uh essence cognitive essence cog I, my channel is not good there cognitive the clarescence thank you spirit not cog i'm thinking cognitive in my brain <laughs> clarescence thank you spirit uh, of that deep knowing that telepathy of when you speak to spirit right and um spirit is really bringing this up because once a feminine is ready to do that the masculines will have no choice but to move into their their new calling right now spirit is bringing up the distorted masculine of the fear right just like the Kali spirit, the mask of the feminine energy, the masculine energy has a courageous warrior spirit to protect, right? And it's not, again, from the essence of the distorted feminine on the inside, okay? Because distorted feminine energies are very uh, uh, fearful. They don't have the courage. They actually need to control because they're so fearful. So, the masculine, uh, when they're done controlling with their karmic person, with the karmic energies in their life, when they're running in this loop where things are stagnant, things are manifesting, they're realizing that uh, they need to surrender to the divine feminine, surrender to the mission, surrender to the calling, let go of, of their old way of life because a new paradigm is opening up. When they come to that realization, that's the marrying that happens with divine feminine moving into her new blooming stage. When this, I'm, they're showing me like a stem of a plant just ready to poke out through the soil and bloom right this is the point that the masculine will then realize that just like the feminine has to come into her kali spirit right 
to erupt the volcanoes and set the boundaries and be that high passion when she needs to be to maintain homeostasis that is when the masculine realize that he is a courageous warrior to protect divine feminine and it's not in the sense that he will fight and you know he the, these masculines are gentle masculines right their essence alone that energy of a divine masculine naturally creates a bubble of protection around their divine feminine they want me to bring up my experience with this while my twin and i were doing ayahuasca there was a point where i was sitting outside i always have to sit outside with ayahuasca it's so funny because my shaman's like arena why don't you come inside it's all the spirits are outside i'm like yeah i can't sit inside with all the people purging thanks i need to be with the earth um spirits are my friends <laughs> so it's funny because i was sitting outside just being with the earth and just being with the perfect alignment of everything just hang on there was this person who was at the rich at the retreat at this point with us who had a little bit of an obsession with i could feel his obsession with me <coughs> um he just wanted to be around my energy but most men are like that um it's a little annoying sometimes um i feel attacked by a lot of masculine energies to be honest because i have a purity to me so i get a lot of distorted masculines wanting that energy and this person came up to me and pretended to be a shaman and blow tobacco smoke in my face and it was oh just it just changed the aura like he he thought i was sad i was actually in a great place and he completely threw his negative energy on me and as soon as he did that my twin and, and i don't know i don't believe my twin saw what happened but something intuitively he felt with me of being attacked in that moment and he turned around he walked towards me he came to me he rubbed my face i held his hand i kissed his hand he kissed the top of my forehead and we had a beautiful moment and he completely took that energy away from me there is an intuitive no knowing in twin flames they don't have to see what is attacking the feminine they just know when their feminine requires their energy to be near them to help them and that is when the divine feminine has become become completely receptive you know with uh forgiving to the masculine because we have to understand like when your masculine comes back you're gonna have healthy boundaries with yourself right because you know how to work in the energies divine feminine but you're not gonna you're not gonna castrate your masculine right like why would we do that you know we would set healthy boundaries and be like yeah okay well you're going to speak your truth in a divine truth way of Kali spirit, but not in the way of what a distorted feminine would do, right? Distorted feminines are, you don't know what you're talking about. Fine. You just, you know, they blame, blame, blame. They deflect all of that, right? They get angry. They go a little bit psychotic. Divine feminine energies aren't like that. Divine feminine energies have had time to balance their emotions, learn how to work with spirit, learn how to pray, learn how to, you know, be in that flow for union. And so when the masculine comes back, it's like, yeah, baby, I got you. I'll help you. Like, I know the masculines can't do this with the feminines, right? The masculines will come back. Ayahuasca told me that when my masculine returns to not, <laughs> to not be mean, I was completely told that like, don't like castrate them and be like, why you did this? And why you do that? Like, and um trust me i had to heal through that you guys okay <laughs> um but i wouldn't do that i wouldn't do that and and um we have to learn to come out of that place of our own pain and ego because that keeps us in a place of suffering right healthy boundaries is about i'm not you know you want to you know uh do this or you want to you know you're making decisions for that out of an egoic place you know i'm gonna have to set healthy boundaries for myself because i know that's not for my well-being and that's it right um there are consequences for things and choices right so it's not a it's never a threatening place when when twins come into union it's not like oh you did this to me blah blah, blah. it's not like that's distorted feminine energy so spirit is saying that uh holding with when we can hold that divine place divine feminines of being completely open forgiving and it's all good and we're flowing and we keep going and moving in our new calling and we hold that place of love and everything's been forgiven the masculines will feel it they you can't help that the masculines will feel it you're one soul right so 
now spirit is bringing up that when that happens the karmic energies of the masculine will try to grip on very a lot harder they will call the feminine toxic they will call her the devil they will say that she does black magic and i'm, and I'm going to bring this up even in my own uh situation there's a lot of uh shamans that don't work in the light that are working with my my twin and his karmic partner they're not of the light i will never work with them i they've tried to siphon me many times and uh even the one shaman said to me oh like how come my guides they came to you didn't you feel them like yeah they're dark they're dark and evil and that does not you can't get into me that way because i've had a lot of psychic attacks my whole life so i know the father god i know christ consciousness i work with jesus very closely and i know energy so they couldn't siphon me and because of that they have now created an entire story in in the medicine community about me being toxic a lot of people are going to say that but that's fine because they can watch me rise because it's really actually quite funny um it's going to force a lot of people to come on humble knee in their own calling and so spirit is saying the karmic energies start to you know create a support system to show the divine mask and they've been doing this for a while now to show the divine mask it's toxic you're going to go there and create that fear so that they can instill a constant form of attachment that they're losing something good right but these masculines have to work through that dark energy, my loves. They have to work through that because for them to know dark energy is the only way that that can integrate into their aura, so in their energy system, so that they know how to protect the divine feminine intuitively in the energy, right? It's not that they're standing there as a warrior, like, oh, don't come near my woman. It's more of intuitive in their energy that their essence and their higher self can merge within their body and that energy will take over because the father energy will then be fully expressed through them when they surrender right when they connect back to the feminine the masculine requires the feminine right to drink from that pool of water there is a piece of their soul the twins have merged right um that when they come home that that will be given back from the womb of the feminine into the masculine and that masculine will be able to feel that and realize oh my god <laughs> um <clears throat> this is where i this is home this is where i belong and uh yeah so just give me a moment because I, I lost my uh my, my little train of processing there so spirit is saying yeah thank you spirit so spirit is saying that when the masculine okay is ready to finally leave that karmic energy they have to be able to see through all of those distorted energies they have to be able to integrate that that's why it's been so much suffering with their karmic energies okay and working like creating the same what is that saying by uh, einstein doing the same thing over and over is just a form of insanity they're going to see how insane that is <clears throat> and they have to see through all of the lies that have been told about their divine feminine and once they do that <coughs> sorry guys that energy then naturally integrates into their system so that when they end those karmic cycles they will start to feel freeing and alive and the energy will start to integrate more they will become humbled and surrendered they will cry they will release and in that healing purification before that time that they take for themselves before they approach the divine feminine right they will then soon realize you know that energy system comes on board that they will have that they have this this knowing that they need to be close to the divine feminine because the merging happens to protect the entire union and that is such an important piece you know with the twins and i'm gonna say this like for me you know my calling has been blowing the hell up blowing up i can't tell you like oh, so many high connections so many things are happening like it's happening so fast i'm leaving for guyana in a couple weeks like this is like all very intense um things are happening so fast uh spirit is saying that because it's taking off in this way like people have been attacking me you know on social media and stuff because remember the dark energies do not like the purity of god right why do they hang, hang christ on 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 the cross right when you have pure energy the dark will try to bring that down look at all the leaders of this world 
that have tried to speak pure truth and how they've gotten killed martin luther king for example okay so they're bringing this up because as divine feminists become more pure the dark will attack them and i can't tell you that like, i got fire spirit but i can't i can't be in that fire all the time it gives me a headache my natural essence is like I want to sing music and love everybody like and take care of my family that's the purest of my s of my energy channel help people love you guys but you know because i don't have my masculine with me it's coming to a point where it's like i'm getting so attacked by these energies that i can't even go on certain platforms because it's like oh my god it, uh i'm like <laughs> these people are idiots like they're just attacking me and i'm not trying to soak it in or anything but it's like i also have a collie spirit that i stand up for myself and i like to speak truth and i i get a little too overwhelmed <laughs> in that collie spirit i would never treat my twin that way right but this is because he's not of darker energies like that but granted if the karmic ever came at me that i would tell her where to go so um in a very direct way not in a you know screaming my head off psychotic way in a direct firm way um but this is the aspect of where we're noticing that when union is about to come together is that spirit is saying that fall of um the divine feminine will have one more layer to fall fully okay into her nurturing state of pure divine energy of like what the earth does and the mask will be naturally drawn to her to be able to create that protective aura around her right um and then the masculine will be able to re come into reunion be able to drink from the well of the feminine to gain life again it will be renewing right it will be another heightened activation it will be uh sacred uh the hero gamos is what i'm hearing sexual union but in a very different way because sex with your twin spirit uh showed me this in a dream the other night because my twin and i haven't been intimate in that way um <laughs> but we have been in the 5d i'll tell you that um <laughs> was showing me how it's very different than what we experience as humans right it is a download of energy god is present it is the most divine sacred union that you will experience and the way that you climax is entirely different than what you do from a 3d perspective or what humans are accustomed to because remember the consciousness that's here on the planet is uh very distorted energy and even sexual sexually it's not real right the lingam and the yoni have completely different forms of consciousness when you connect to the divine feminine energy with the yoni you become a flowering blossom you become uh an opening channel for seeds to come in and to plant and uh the masculine cannot deny that type of magnetic attraction you know you just you know and so the masculine energy as they're with their karmic energies and coming into sacred divine masculine energy is realizing the complete surrender to mission the complete surrender of letting go of fear the complete surrender of letting the old world die right letting spirit to come in and create the new and knowing that they can't fully do that because until they come back to the feminine because the feminine's been downloaded with mission the feminine has the blueprint the feminine has already started mission you know is already knows where she's moving and realizing how dependent independent feminine is not toxic independency either right toxic independency is you become a workaholic so much that you don't allow a lot of anybody else into your life you know um i can guarantee say that that's been my life you know i've been so focused on work ambitious like i i i have this workforce in me that's crazy and i have to be careful because i could become very obsessed and if it wasn't for my children i'd be so in a distorted masculine <laughs> energy my children force me to come back into my feminine and re to remember that my masculine and i mirror each other that way right so this falling into my feminine is bringing him into his masculine so same same i'm using this as examples so you guys can relay it to your own life right please use these examples so that you can take it into your own life about so you can see where you are in your masculine distorted masculine and how to fall deeper into your divine feminine and vice versa where are you in distorted feminine so you can be more in your divine masculine and the divine masculine energy <clears throat> 
they can't do this alone and and unfortunately um that toxic independent spirit is bringing up is that they're going to need to surrender that too to realize i don't want to be alone i want a, a a partner i want to build and make memories with somebody and i want it in the purity of, of god and spirit and the universe and i want that perfect alignment and once they start to surrender that and let the old ways fall you know it's the law of vacuum that happens you know that whenever you clear something out god has the ability to bring in something brand new um because what karmic energies have manipulated the masculine into is thinking you have to work hard for this you know we've been investing so much we're almost there just keep going that's not how real sacred partnership works that's human distorted stuff right sacred partners mirror so closely they do the exact same thing so you don't have to work hard for it yeah there's going to be times that it's going to bring up old patterns to burn off however because you mirror exactly you go through that at the exact same time so then you both go within to your own separate corners and i was showing this with ayahuasca because he and i had two ceremonies exactly the same i didn't understand that until now that's integrating it's like wow we really do mirror um both twins thank you and spirit wants me to bring this up because if you look in the new age community go look at their teachings okay uh, of twin flames they're saying one will one will trigger the other i'm gonna bring I, i'm gonna do a whole talk about this alien love bite and false twin flames and the dark energies because that's happening in our in our new age community too okay i see it rampant in the new age community it's actually darker forces that run a lot of the new age community okay um it's been siphoned as every structure usually gets siphoned um so it pushes us into a new paradigm that's why we need the dark as well but <coughs> excuse me the old twin flame uh stuff in the new age community this is what they say they say that the twins come together okay, this is this just sorted stuff the twins come together and you trigger each other so one needs to bring up a pattern and then they grow and the other one is like holding space for the other and they need to be triggered and they come up and then once they heal that you hold space for that then you can ascend to a higher level that's blasphemy i'm going to tell you that right now it is not true though those, those are dark forces telling you that and if you hear twin flame couples talking about that that is not how twins work ayahuasca showed me that twins mirror exactly okay my twin and i and i'm going to say this too we had the same vision this isn't a vision that i told him i couldn't integrate this one vision he saw a baby boy that he was going to have and i nearly like you know had a heart attack because i was struggling with integrating about this baby boy that i saw in my vision with him and i actually went and talked to my shaman i'm like i can't have kids i'm like i'm like 42 or whatever i'm like this is insane um <laughs> and then when he said that he knew that he was meant to have a baby i was like are you kidding me ayahuasca gave us the exact same vision that's how twins work you get the same visions you get the same um experiences you go through the dark at the same time you mirror exactly that's twin flames it's not about one it's triggering the other that's codependency and if you look at how codependency works it's always a back and forth one person does it the other person does it then you have to compromise that that's not sacred union sacred union is you both have the exact same experiences and i'm and i'm realizing this now because ayahuasca showed me he and i had two ceremonies exactly the same there were points when the shaman came and sang angel heart that's our song and he pulled me in close to him to sit next to him i could not do it he was going through a deep place and needed me there and we both went through a very deep place together that i had to go and do my individual work and he did his individual work in that moment and and spirit showed me that when <clears throat> we mirrored two ceremonies exactly had the same vision exactly uh that's because you go into your individual corner so how twin flames work real twin flames they both go into the darkness together they both go through the dark night of the soul together and even though feminists may not realize if you're masculine in a dark night of the soul soul you are and this is why separation happens you are still working on something within yourself as well you mirror exactly okay so when <laughs> this happens 
it does not clear until both of you work in the energies together to heal it individually the union happens it mirrors back and forth because the connection goes very deep it's down it the connection if you go deep within yourself with your twin it goes down 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 it's like you fall into this dark well within yourself and you keep going and whoever's there with you is your twin right and so as you keep falling 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 into those dark places you heal the love will be there the love will be there the love will be there it will heal and both twins will heal simultaneously at the same time together you will stay in those uncomfortable places together until you do it within yourself then the mirror happens and it happens exactly so you don't have to compromise with your twin yeah you can talk about what's happening but it's not this like i think you need to you know uh do this and i'll hold space for you and then you wait in the sun that's not that's codependency and that's what the darker forces are telling the new age community of what twin flames are about that's not true at all not at all not even close you guys the mirror is exact okay and this masculine is gonna come into these awareness places when they start to realize um thank you spirit spirit is saying a lot of these karmic partners have used a lot of these twin flame new age dogmas and saying we're twins we're the soulmate look at us this is so holy blah 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 but the masculine will wake up from that okay the masculine will wake up from anything the karmic energies are doing and saying because they have to come into this awareness right to know the truth they have to know the contrast of distorted feminine energy and what true divine feminine energy really is and when that happens this is when the lion comes out this is when the courageous warrior comes out to claim his kingdom to claim his righteousness as the king of as the king truly you know i'm seeing like the lion king when simba comes back you know spirit's bringing that up that's been coming up a lot for me in this past week when simba left you know um because <clears throat> he had shame and guilt and abandonment issues and and, a, and you know a lot of uh things that he just wanted to live his own life and do that he realized how lonely he was until he reunited with his twin nala and realized that he had to take his rightful place as king and that takes you know he got his roar back right and that comes when the masculine has finally hit a place of transitioning from old world to new world and is willing to allow spirit to come in break down everything you know even if they don't have money like your twin may come to you with financial problems will come to you broken spirit has shown me this too you know um they will come with their t their tail between their legs it's it's a breaking down of the ego so that they can gain that union uh thank you spirit they need to be broken at that point because when they come to the divine feminine the divine feminine has that code they have that piece of that one union of that soul because they've been nourishing that seed right from their first activation and so when they come humbled they will be humbled these masculines need to be humbled because they need to be humbled from distorted feminine energy and they need to be humbled from distorted masculine energy and when they can start surrendering those two aspects what happens is they then come towards the divine feminine on humbled knee you know and when that union happens it's like a glorious aspect of like wow <laughs> and i'm gonna cry that's what i've been missing my whole life this is where i'm home this is where i know us together can create a new world can create the mission because our talents complement each other our talents work together for god and when god is the head when spirit is leading the connection because spirit creates worlds planets universes that's a higher consciousness that you tap into you don't have to work so hard you've done your brunt work with all the karmic energies and you have purified during your separation it becomes a journey of complete mirroring right union with the earth union with the father energy being guided to create something new and you are fully protected as you are in union and that is the point that a lot of masculines are starting to come into now they are starting to realize this transition piece i've been seeing a lot of coaching sessions i've been doing uh the readings that are coming out i'm going to be doing the reading today i'm also going to be doing another reading watch out for them for the for the uh full moon in scorpio tonight it's a very important reading um <clears throat> so 
because of that um we'll see what comes out spirit is saying there's a lot of transition that i've been seeing with these masculines are showing me the card now for my wisdom deck um in regards to what they're saying is the uh the between two worlds right moving from black and white into color you know and uh, a lot of these masculines are at this place and they're currently healing um from what they went through and getting into that surrender place to approach divine feminine and say yeah like i messed up i made a wrong choice like i want to see what this is and and the thing is like a lot of masculines are so fearful of the power of divine feminine but they must realize that that energy is actually in them you know they have to come to a surrender place to realize oh my god the feminine's been in me this whole time and if my feminine is that bright and that light and there's a point in that song with angel heart that spirit is telling me to tell you you know there's a point that says um don't you know the light you see is your own soul the feminine has been guiding the masculine this whole time and the masculine's always seen the feminine as a star has always seen that light but has kept it in a place of separateness but when they heal the distorted feminine within themselves right of that codependency of that attachment <clears throat> what happens is they realize that the light that they've seen in the feminine because you know the ego puts the feminine on on this unattainable pedestal right that's what the ego does you can't get there and then all those judgments come into the divine mask and that they can never have that because they're too broken that's not true at all not true at all not even a little piece of truth into that but the karmic energies keep playing that out you're broken you've had so much trauma let's heal it open up blah, blah, blah. i can't even it makes me want to purge to be honest because these masculines are divine they're kings they're emperors they have created worlds before they have been egyptian pharaohs they have been all kinds of very high level energies right they have to come into that awareness that they are that to create a new world and when they realize that that egoic place of putting divine feminine on such a high pedestal they realize the light you see in the divine feminine is your own soul it is already within them it is already them and so when they connect to that on the inside they have a complete heart opening a complete knowing and then they're able to heal and come and gain the courage as the warrior spirit to finally make that offer and come forward and then let god take a hold of that so i hope that explains divine masculine energy again i would suggest listening to the first one if you listen to this and some of it didn't make sense go back and listen to last week's teaching um, i would love to hear your comments on this you guys i'm sending you so much love and uh, we'll talk soon bye guys